today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three mistakes that Professor Scott Galloway avoids to stay lean and fit at age 57. Since I have been working with the dog for the last five years, including four day a week personal training sessions at his home for the last two and a half years, we've been able to avoid three major hurdles that allow Scott to be able to be at the top of his game with an incredible physique. Number one, Scott doesn't get caught up with the trendy workouts and diets. In our initial meeting, Scott and I discussed what success looks like while working together, and one of the biggest things we spoke about was being able to exercise regularly without injury. Since staying healthy is a priority to Scott, the types of workouts that Scott does are specifically tailored toward injury prevention and hitting his favorite muscle groups with his favorite exercises. This keeps him coming back and aids in his consistency. All too often, the clients that I speak with are trying to ride too many horses at once and don't have a clear vision of what they want to look and feel like. Take time to evaluate how you want to look, feel, and perform, and make sure your workouts match those goals. Number two, Scott doesn't take extended time off without activity. Scott has been training consistently four days a week for the last 40 years of his life. Recently, however, he had to take two weeks off for some minor surgery. To my surprise, he said this was the longest break he had taken in over 40 years. Scott went on to mention that he noticed a difference in energy, mood, and strength. Taking a few days off is critical for allowing the body to recover and prevent burnout, but avoiding physical activity for weeks on end is not atypical for some of our ageless athletes. This approach makes it harder to get back into exercise routines and affects how you think, feel, and look more quickly than you may think. My advice, if you have to take a while off from exercise, remain active. Keep that time in your day that you allot to yourself and continue to fill it with physical activities that you may not usually do. You like lifting weights? Maybe it's time to go hiking. Love Pilates? Try that kickboxing class that comes after your usual time. Keep fitness time slots and stay active. Number three, Scott doesn't forget that fitness is more than just your workout. Yes, the sweat releases hormones and burns calories, but Scott knows it's about achieving mental clarity, which is central to being a thought leader in his field. Additionally, Scott leverages our relationship to see the areas that he is blind to. A simple conversation at the beginning of each of our sessions reveals how stressed he is, how his sleep was, and what his diet has looked like. Once we talk about these things, we can make small micro adjustments to ensure he is allocating his time and resources effectively. Yes, your workout is important, but it's only one aspect of your fitness paradigm. You can see that Scott achieves his high level success and a great physique by avoiding these three pitfalls. If you found value in these tips, maybe it's time to take a different approach to your fitness. I'm opening up fitness coaching this fall to a handful of clients. If you are tired of spinning your wheels or just tired in general, maybe it's time to work with an experienced coach. Click below to book a free call to find out where you may need some assistance. There's no pressure to commit and I guarantee by the end of the call, you will know exactly what you need to work on to achieve your health and fitness goals and a clear path to get there. I'm Sean LaFlock of Flock Fitness. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Oh,